Good morning, I'm Dr. Eric Kelly and today we're going to talk about overpronation. This is my patient Andrea and she's going to help me out today. As we can see here with Andrea's feet, um, we don't have a flat foot, we do have a very low arc, but we have something which is called overpronation. Now, what this will do for Andrea as she gets older, this will lead her into um, a high risk category of getting things like plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, shin splints, and different types of knee rotations. Um, due to medial rotation of the knee because of the inward turning of the feet. So just for example here, you can see this curving in of the outside part of the foot and you can see the navicular sticking out through the side here, this little bulge. If I was to take her foot and elevate the arch and turn the foot into the rotated position where it should be, this would be more of the neutral plane that we would want to see the foot in. Now. What Andrea originally came in with, um, her mother brought her in because she was having what's called growing pains. The GP diagnosed her with growing pains in through her back. Um, what I found out to have was a, uh, a rotation in the pelvis with a, a slight curve in her lumbar spine. Now, the reason we came down to analyze her feet to see what would happen in through here with the knees and the hip and how to balance this all out. If you can just turn around, Andrea, please. Thank you very much. She's very good today. If we just open the feet slightly, I'll just open up your stance. Okay, so now what I'll show you is what this type of foot will do to um, body alignment. So as we see her knees here, um, just stand nice and tall for me please. As the foot drops in, the knees also, the kneecap, the patella will also change position. So if you watch the knee here, as I move the foot, the knee will turn or rotate and I drop the foot down and the knee rotates again. So what this will do with a drop down um, foot, with an over pronated foot, it will immediately rotate the knees which will cause a rotation in the pelvis since there's only one bone that goes from the knee to the pelvis here. That in turn helped accentuate the curve that we found in her low back. So just for example here, um, Andrea is in today because she was get, she's going to get refitted for her orthotics which she's almost about time to grow out of. Um, she's had these for about a year and a half now. These are the Kid Flex and Tog orthotics. This is um, what we like to put them in. So. Just for example, I'm going to show you um, what happens to the bowing of the Achilles tendon, what happens to the navicular as it bows in through here after we put the orthotics in. Uh, keep in mind, she has outgrown these, so we will see a change, um, but that's why she's in today. So go ahead, Andrea, and just lift the foot up, please. Thank you. And lift the foot up. And down. Thank you. So what we can see here now is the change of the bowing of the Achilles tendon. We still have a slight bow bowing in here. Um, but with today's visit, we do the gate scan, we should be able to rectify that now as well. We still have to correct the navicular drop and we need to a bit more into an elevated position here, so the change on the orthotics will rectify that as well.